Bay Sports with Dick Griffin. Brought to you by CarStar. Relax, we'll take it from here. Welcome back to Bay Sports. Beach volleyball is one of the most popular recreational sports in the Bay Area. But when night falls, the fun's over. Now one man is changing that. Alan Hafez had a vision since childhood of people playing volleyball on the beach at night. He has made his vision a reality in Clearwater and is helping thousands of volleyball enthusiasts bring the beach out of the dark. I had the idea of Club V itself since I was a child. I grew up in Cairo, Egypt. I went to the Olympic school, I did the tryout for the school, and uh, I got in. So it was a great place to learn every sport, every sport possible. Uh, but I majored uh, in volleyball. It was actually the least confrontationalist sport ever for me because I remember my first choice was boxing and I had really a funny episode among other friends of mine that we wouldn't box each other because we we're not going to beat each other. So they said well what's the next sport and volleyball actually came in next and I realized I was very good at it and uh, it was just classy sport and uh, clean cut uh, clientele that played the sport. I liked it very much. It gives them great coordinations, eye movement, conditioning to the body, uh, the way that, that they can adapt to almost every other sport. Look at tennis and look at volleyball, uh, look at basketball, look at volleyball. It's always involved jumping, involved the, the hand coordination, legs, eye coordination. You couldn't ask for more, more quality in any sport than volleyball. And actually it does not have the attention that it deserves in this country. But I think, with a little help from me, I'm going to try to give it a big, huge effort. And I think we already made a little bit of a difference already in the Tampa Bay area, because this facility is here is the largest facility in the whole United States and Canada. We have 20 courts in here. We already brought several tours in here. A lot of the tours that came in here and used to play on the beach in Clearwater Beach, they were unable to play the games to finish them on time just simply because they could not light up the beach. The lights are awesome. Well, after dark, there's not really any lights on the beach, so you're limited to when the sun goes down, and that's not when we're done playing. Some are out here specifically for the competition. Others are out here for the uh, camaraderie. Others are out here for just exercise. There, there are numerous different reasons, but everyone who comes out here tends to have a great time. It's good exercise, works out your legs, and of course being outside is always great. And it's just a lot of fun, a lot of socialization and great people out here. It's the only exercise I get. I fix computers 24 hours a day, this is it. The two days I come out of here and play are the two days that I don't fix computers. Two or three, service, 20 to 13. And I started coming out, started seeing the uh, caliber of players that were out here and the level of play, and, and uh, fell in love the first time I came out here, enjoyed it ever since. Now, there's plenty of competition, and you can come out, I mean, you play as much as you want, you can play early in the morning till late at night, um, they've got food, they've got drinks, um, so, I mean, you never have to leave. I mean, so you're just here, you play as much as you want, plenty of pickup. Like I said, plenty of competition, all levels, anywhere from the beginning all the way up to your, your open, high-level player. Um, and uh, you have fours and, and doubles, so I mean, co-ed and men's. Um, so I just, uh, I mean, I like the competition. Everybody's friendly out here. I met a lot of people from coming out here, so um, it's just a good place uh, for volleyball and to meet people. Beach volleyball is the ultimate sport. You got agility, 
speed, strength, and you name it, the sands, the suns, Florida, the girls. It got so much fun in it. I like how, I mean, you come here and there's anybody, you know, to play with. Everybody's here to play. And um, we just like playing like some good volleyball games, you know. You don't need to bring people. Uh, so yeah. you don't have enough people to play a game. You can always come here and count on people wanting to play too. Mm -hmm. So you just go, if you're bored, to play some volleyball. Well, this is the first time I've actually played at night. Normally we just play like tournaments, but I guess they've played before and they said it was fun. So I came along. You can play till Alan kicks us out, which is, we've played here till 2.30 in the morning some nights. Wow, I keep, and he keeps the lights on too. Mm -hmm. He keeps the, the lights on as long as we want them. Hey man, how's it going? Hi, hi, hi Heather. Where's my daughter? I have it. Uh, okay, I can't wait. When I came to this country, I had several scholarships in here to do for volleyball and I love the country and I love the sport. So I wanted to give back again to the community. I live here now for 26 years or more. Uh, I wanted to give back to the sport and to the people in the area. You know, and every child, if I can nourish their, their interest in volleyball and if I can harness that, I sleep much better. So uh, when I was able to afford it, it was when I started to build it. But I had all that vision since I was a child. So again, uh, there's nothing better than a man living his dream. You could never ask for more. I probably achieved everything that I've ever wanted to achieve. And this is just the icing in the cake. My, 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 my! What an outstanding idea. Now 4,000 pounds of sand was trucked in to build the courts, and Allen is planning on holding several professional tournaments at the facility. He also hopes to build in Clearwater the absolute largest indoor volleyball facility in North America. If you'd like some more information, you can get it very easily. Log on to tampabayvolleyball.com. That's tampabayvolleyball.com. We want to thank Randy, our photojournalist, for that fine story. Good job. Up next, we'll introduce you to a former Devil Rays pitcher who turned in his hat in glove for a rod and reel.